The Honourable Member for Halliburton, Coarta Lakes, Brock. Speaker, this week the Auditor General released a scathing report on the complete failure at Indigenous Services Canada to provide support for First Nations disaster management. After three years and $790,000, the auditor found that not one emergency management agreement was completed. Wow. More and more parents now are waking up, trying to figure out how to heat their homes, pay their bills, even feed their families. When will this government actually start getting results for Indigenous people and stop their wasteful inflationary spending? Great question. The Honourable Minister for Indigenous Services. Mr. Speaker, uh, first of all, the extraordinary expense of responding to climate change crisis is growing. And in fact, the Auditor General's report noted that while Indigenous Services Canada is doing a great job helping emergency management of those crises, that we need to invest more in protection and in adaptation. And Mr. Speaker, it's really exciting to hear a member from the opposite talk about climate change and talk about the need to invest in adaptation to reduce the emissions to protect our climate. Because because in fact, all of us are suffering with an extraordinary expense responding to climate crises. We'll continue, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Member for Halliburton, Coarta Lakes, Brock. Thank you, Speaker. The Auditor General and the Parliamentary Budget Office did not say the Indigenous Services Department is doing a great job. In fact, they called it a money pit. Yeah. If the Minister was actually truly going to fund projects, how about the 112 infrastructure projects that would build dikes, culverts, ditches to help mitigate the effects of climate change instead of spending three and a half times more relocating people, housing them, rebuilding the communities after the disaster hit? Mitigate this. When will the government start getting results for Indigenous people and stop wasting money? Great question. The Honourable Minister. Speaker, I don't consider it a waste of money to help a community that's under threat from flood or fire or for ter from torrential winds. Uh, to, to, I don't consider that a waste of uh, money at all, Madam Speaker. What I am hearing the member opposite call for is an increased investment in making our communities resilient from the effects of climate change. I'm really pleased to hear this question, Madam Speaker, because it's an indication that the opposition understands that communities are under intense threat from the kinds of uh, incredible climate activity that we're seeing. We'll continue, Mr. Speaker, to work with communities to make those important investments.